The Flutter tooling supports three modes when compiling your app, namely the debug mode, the release mode, and the profile mode. When we launch our app in an IDE, it runs in the debug mode by default. In the debug mode, the app is set up for debugging on the physical device, emulator, or simulator. Hot Reload, which is one of the biggest utilities when working with Flutter, works only in the debug mode. In this mode, compilation is optimized for fast development and run cycles, but it is not suitable for deployment since the app's performance in debug mode can be janky. It is only useful to rapidly iterate over your code and make required changes during development. The debug banner on the right top of the device that your app is running on can easily be used to identify that the app is running in debug mode. We should use release mode for deploying the app when we want maximum optimization and minimal app size. All debugging and dev tools are disabled in the release mode and it is only meant to be used when you want to put your app in production. Release mode apps can only be run on a physical device and not on an emulator or a simulator. Hence, we switch to a physical device that is being cast to the laptop screen in the example here. It is important to note that the app size of a debug flutter app is a lot more than the release version of the app. In the debug mode, the Dart Virtual Machine or the Dart VM is shipped with the app to enable hot reload. This results in a significant increase in the app size. The profile mode is extremely similar to the release mode except that some debugging ability is maintained to profile your app's performance. Similar to the release mode, the profile mode can only be run on a physical device and not on an emulator or a simulator. For more information on these three Flutter build modes, check out the link in the lesson notes.